for the season overall. And then the number four team is Pepple at five and six in region play, 13 and nine overall. And that's the top four right now out of region 7AA. As far as the season series between these two teams is concerned, well, these two teams would play at Gordon Central on January the 18th. Model would have the upper hand there winning that game 53 to 40, so a 13 point win the first time that these two teams went head to head earlier in the season. So Model looking for the season sweep here in their last evening of playing ball here on their home floor of the regular season. And now we're gonna turn it over to PA announcer Nathan Patterson for the national anthem as well as the starting lineups. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Model High School and Wooder Gymnasium for tonight's Region 7 AA Basketball Contest between the visiting Gordon Central Warriors and the homestanding Model Blue Devils. At this time, we ask that you please stand, remove your caps and hats, and focus your attention to the flag hanging above midcourt for the playing of our national anthem. our national anthem and in just moments we will have the starting lineup for you of tonight's game and again we're going to turn it over to Nathan Patterson PA announcer from Model High School for the announcement of our starting lineups here he is for our first varsity game of the evening wearing gray jerseys with blue numbers the starting lineup for the visiting Gordon Central Lady Warriors number three Kim Pasley Number five, Brooke Wilson. Number 10, Rachel Rayley. Number 22, Rania Ellis. And number 32, Cassie Chastain. Head coach for the Lady Warriors, Coach Macy Mills. And now wearing white jerseys with blue numbers, the starting lineup for the model, Lady Devil. Starting at guard, a five foot, six inch sophomore, number 11, Briley Sims. Starting at guard, a five foot, five inch sophomore, number 14, Rachel Burkhalter. Starting at point guard, a five foot, four inch junior, number 20, Morgan Wood. Starting at forward, a five foot, 10 inch freshman, number 21, August Betts. And starting at forward, a five foot, 10 inch freshman, number 30, Sadie Ralton. Head coach for the Lady Devils, Coach Sally Eccles. All right, here we go, folks. You've got your starting lineups and it is just about go time inside Woodard Gymnasium last evening of the regular season here on a Friday evening and Friday evening hoops presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales on WLAQ. Also with us tonight as sponsors again we'll mention Profile Custom Extrusions and Wear Mechanical and with that said we are ready to rock and roll here from inside Woodard Gymnasium. We're going to have August Betts 
there in the circle here for the Model 80 Blue Devils to tip things off here for the Blue Devils. And the Blue Devils win the tip. We're underway. Rachel Burkhalter will fire it off to the right wing side to Rotten now back around. They get it to Wood. She's at the top of the key, feeds it right. Dribbling underneath they go. Rotten kicks it back out to Burkhalter and now back on to Wood. We're just now underway here in our first game of the evening. Sims fires it into the corner to the left wing side. There's Rotten for three. That's going to go over the rim. But the Lady Blue Devils do a good job on the offensive boards getting the rebound. And the ball is going to stay with the Lady Blue Devils. Ball is deflected out of bounds by number 22. That is Renaya Ellis, the freshman here for Gordon Central. So it's going to stay with the Lady Blue Devils. We played 32 seconds of this first quarter and still no score. Burkhalter with it here for the Lady Blue Devils. Model with it, working it around the perimeter. Now they feed it off to the left wing side and Wood dribbles up to the top of the key, fires it right wing side to Sims, drives the low block, loses the handle, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sims and Model, so it's coming back to the Gordon Central Warriors. Rachel Rayleigh's gonna feed it in here and set things in motion for the Warriors. Across the timeline they go, dribbling off to the left side is Brooke Wilson. She'll work around the screen, now goes to the low block, and she shuffles her feet in front of the official. So that'll be a turnover here for the Lady Warriors that's coming back to the Model Lady Blue Devils. We played a minute, still scoreless, here from Model High School. Model is playing tonight in their white jerseys and shorts. They have blue letters and numbers. Now they're going to work it to the right wing side around to Rotten. Now back to left and Sims dribbles to the top of the key. Picks up her dribble. Fires to the right wing side to Burkhalter for three and it rims in. So Rachel Burkhalter opens up the scoring for the Lady Blue Devils. And I understand she was shooting like a house of fire in the game against the Pepper Lady Dragons earlier in the week. So maybe we're going to get part two of that tonight. She's off to a good start. Foul on the other end. We're going to see free throw shooting here from Kim Pasley here for the Lady Warriors. Three to zero model on top with 628 left to go in the first quarter. So Pasley at the free throw line. First one's on the way and that one is going to rattle around the rim and in. She'll get ready for her second of the pair. And that'll cut it to a two point three to one lead here for the model Lady Blue Devils. Second shot on the way. That one is going to rattle off the rim this time. Rotten gets the rebound from Model. And here comes Rachel Burkhalter across the center court strike. They work it left. There's Sims, an open three-point shot. That's a little too strong off the top of the rim. But Wood's there for a long rebound. The putback is going to go. So Morgan Wood has her first basket of the game. Five to one, Model on top by four. Working it up the floor is going to be Brooke Wilson. She works off the left wing side. Now fires back up top to Ellis. They'll get it down low. There's a shot from the low block. It'll be a miss and a battle for the rebound. That's going to force a jump ball. And the possession arrow is pointing in the direction of the Lady Warriors. But next time around, it'll be the other direction. Lady Warriors will feed it in, set things in motion offensively. They're on the right wing side with it. And we're going to have a double dribble, it appears, here from Gordon Central. So Model will try to take advantage of a turnover. Triggering it in is going to be August Betts. Gets it into Morgan Wood, who goes across the logo at center court. She'll drive off to the left wing side and picks up her dribble, fires it out to an open. Burkhalter shot is off the back of the rim. It won't go. But Model, again, doing a great job on the offensive boards. They're going to get another look, perhaps. Nope. Ball is going to be stolen away. Here comes Gordon Central headed back the other way. Brooke Wilson with it as she crosses the timeline. Closing in on the five minute mark of the first quarter, Model leading at five to one. Gordon Central with the ball. Gordon Central now gonna get it down towards the low block. Here is a shot from outside. That's gonna be a bit short. Rebound taken by Model. Morgan Wood comes up with it. Lady Blue Devils cross court pass over to Briley Sims. Now back up top. They work it around to Burkhalter. The corner for Rotten, a three point shot in and out. Looked like it had a shot, but it rimmed out. Rebound goes to Gordon Central. They're on the other end already. Uh, shot is up. It'll be a miss, but yet again, we're going to see Kim Pasley going to the free throw line, where she's shooting 50%, one of two. 
441 left to go here in the first quarter. It's 5-1 to one model with the lead, but two free throws coming up for Gordon Central, and that one's going to roll off the rim. And we'll wait for the second one. Passley shoots, and that one's going to be right through the hoop. 5-2, to two, model with a three-point lead. A little bit of pressure here at half court from Gordon Central. Model trying to work it around it. They're running out of time here. Finally, they get it down to Rotten, and now it ends up in the hands of Burkhalter, and they will set up their half-court offense. Burkhalter with it at the top of the key, puts up a three-point shot, and it is good. She comes in red hot again. Two three-pointers already for Burkhalter. Eight to two, model up by six. Here come the Lady Warriors across the M logo at center court. A lob pass down low is floated up. And now we're going to have another jump ball. Possession arrows pointing Model's way. So we get ready for Sadie Rotten, the freshman, to inbound the ball and trigger things in motion here for the Lady Blue Devils. Pressure again here from Gordon Central. And Model's able to work around it. They get it to Briley Sims. She'll dribble up around the top of the key. Now works her way off to the right and passes it to Morgan Wood. Now she goes back to the top of the key. They pass on to Burke Halter. She'll put up kind of a wild shot, and she travels just before she released the shot. So that'll be a turnover for the Model Lady Blue Devils. Gordon Central's going to get it back with 3.45 left to go in the first quarter, trailing Model 8-6. So model out on front here early in this basketball game. Lady Warriors with it. They've got it at the top of the key. Now they work it around to the right wing side. And now we're going to have another jump ball. This time possession arrow pointing Gordon Lady Warriors, uh, Gordon Central Lady Warriors way. Kind of a mouthful saying all that. Rachel Rayley set to fire it in motion, lobs it in. And there's a shot from the outside that'll be in and out. Rebound's going to be taken by Model. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul that's going to be charged against the Lady Warriors. Let's see who they got on that one. It's going to be on number 32, Cassie Chastain. Her first foul, first team foul here for Gordon Central. Rotten will toss it in here to Morgan Wood, who crosses the timeline with it, working right to left here for the Lady Blue Devils. Sims has got it now, goes into the paint, loses the handle, ball's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Warriors. So it is staying with the Lady Blue Devils. Rachel Burkhalter fires it in from the baseline to Morgan Wood. Inbound three-point shot off the front of the rim, and the ball caroms out of bounds. But it was tipped, apparently, by Gordon Central. So the... Lady Blue Devils will retain possession of the ball to set things in motion as Rachel Burkhalter gets it into Morgan Wood, dribbles up to the top of the key, now fires it back left to Rachel Burkhalter, now back up to the top of the key to Sims, now on to Rotten, she'll dribble up top, Morgan Wood with it, they get it inside to Betts, fires out to Sims, there's a two-point shot, that'll be missed, rebound's going to be taken by Kim Posley. And also, Gordon Central Lady Warriors will dribble across the timeline. Brooke Wilson with it, fires up a three-point shot. That's short. Kept in bounds, though. Heads up play there by Gordon Central, and they may get another look at it. They fire it out. There's a three-point shot, and she nails it. Good-looking shot by Rachel Rayley, and that cuts into that model lead. It's 8-5. to five. We got a three-point ball game with 2.20 left first quarter. Morgan Wood picks up her dribble, fires it into Sims, puts up a shot from around the low block, gets fouled, and we're going to see Briley Sims going to the free throw line here in the first quarter. This will be the first free throw shots of the game here for Model. Hope everybody's having a great Friday afternoon. We're entering Super Bowl weekend. Excited about that. Shot is going to be good here for Briley Sims on the first free throw attempt. Of course, the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. And I'm going with the underdog. I'm taking the Bengals. I'm certainly rooting for them. There's a second free throw. It is good for Sims. And that increases the lead for Model out to five. So 10 to five with 2.14 left to go. Model in control of things here early in this game. But Gordon Central battling. Gordon Central's coach is Macy Mills. This is her first year as head coach of Gordon Central, although she was an assistant coach at Gordon Central. 
under their previous coach for four years before she took over. There is a shot from around the free throw line. That'll be tipped out of bounds by a model, so it is going to stay with Gordon Central. And Macy Mills, the coach of Gordon Central, is class of 2013, so she's coaching at her alma mater. And she played three sports there, basketball, softball, and also was a member of the track team. So had quite the athletic career there. Ball is knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Model and Julia Schenholster in the, off the bench is going to set things in motion here for Model when we resume. She'll find an open teammate, Rachel Burkhalter. Burkhalter gives it off to the right wing side and ball is knocked loose. Schenholster with it, picks it up, fires it back outside. There's a long three-point shot, rattles around the rim. And that's going to be Ansley Kugler for the three-point shot. And it looks like Ansley tonight is wearing 23, so I'll mark that in my book. Travel on the other end for Gordon Central, so that'll be a turnover. Model's going to get the ball back now with a pretty sizable lead, 13-5 to five with 117 left to go here in the first period of play. Bringing it up the floor is Julia Schenholster. She will pick up her dribble close to the top of the key, gives it to Kugler. Now back out to Burke Halter, drives in, out to Kugler, puts up the three-point shot and buries it. Ansley Kugler now with two threes. The model has four made threes here in the first quarter of the basketball game and lead it by 11, 16 to five. 52 seconds left to go, first frame. Gordon Central with it, Rayleigh with it. Ball is poked loose here by model's defense which has been suffocating most of the first quarter. Not a lot of open looks here for this Gordon Central basketball team. And I got to tell you, when you look at where this model team is versus where they were at the beginning of the season, they look like a different team. They're playing some good basketball down the stretch. Tamaya Raglan into the game now for model. She'll fire it out to Kugler, another three-point shot. This time it goes off the front of the rim. Put back for Abby Henderson is missed. And then we got another jump ball, possession arrow pointing model's way, so the ball is going to stay on this end of the floor. Julia Schenholster is set to fire it in here for the Blue Devils. Now a change. It's going to be Burkhalter. So Rachel Burkhalter to set things in motion for the Blue Devils, and it's deflected, but she gets it into Kugler. There's Raglan for three. That one's not going to go. Rebound by Kugler. Tries to get it towards the rack. Won't go. Ball is picked up by Kim Pasley of Gordon Central. We got a whistle and a foul that's going to go against Model. So we'll get ready for Gordon Central to inbound the ball and bring it up the floor. To trigger it in is going to be Rachel Rayleigh. The foul, by the way, was on Tamaya Raglan of Model. 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Dribbling with it is Brooke Wilson. She'll pick up her dribble, fires it out to the top of the key. Gordon Central with the ball in three seconds to work with. Shot up. It is no good. And a foul is going to be charged against Julia Schenholster. So we're going to see free throw shots again here for Gordon Central, but this time it's going to be Brooke Wilson shooting two. So this is the third trip to the charity stripe here in the first quarter from Gordon Central. So 14 fouls here for Model. Shot is up and in. She'll get ready for another one. 16 to six, your score, model up by 10 points. Brooke Wilson with another free throw on the way, and that one is gonna rattle off the rim. Schenholster's there for the rebound for model, and can't get the shot off in time right there after the buzzer. And that is the end of the first quarter. So your score at the end of one, it is model 16, Gordon Central six. We'll send it back to the studio for a one-minute time timeout. We'll be back on WLAQ.
All right, we're back live at Model High School. Gordon Central in the last possession. Got a shot in, or tried to get a shot inside. Ball is turned over. Model has got the basketball at 16 to 6, where we left off at the end of our first quarter. Ball is deflected by Gordon Central. They are going to be able to pick that one off. Ellis comes up with it. Here come the Lady Warriors back up the other end of the floor, trailing by 10. And now they'll slow it up with Kim Pasley. They're going to fire it to left wing side out to Wilson. Gordon Central with the basketball trailing by 10 with 7.18 left to go here in the first half of play. They try to get it inside. Briley Sims knocks it out of bounds, but great effort defensively shutting down the passing lane there for Briley Sims. Gordon Central set to trigger it in. And the ball is going to be knocked loose, rolling back on the other side of the floor, picked up by Morgan Wood. The give to Rachel Burkhalter. It's poked out of bounds by Gordon Central, so it's going to be with the Model Lady Blue Devils after everything is said and done. So Burkhalter gets it in to Betts, now up to Briley Sims, now on to Rachel Burkhalter, who's standing with it on the left wing. Kicks it back up top to Morgan Wood, now on to Sadie Rotten. Off to Sims. She tries to fire it inside to August Betts. And then the ball is deflected, but she got a piece of her hand as well. So that's going to be a foul against Gordon Central. And we'll get ready for the Model Lady Blue Devils to fire the ball in here on their side of the floor from the baseline in just a couple of moments. Burkhalter is going to lob it in to Sims. Sims on the right wing side puts up a quick shot. It rolls in and out. Rebound's going to be taken by Kim Posley of Gordon Central. And here come the Lady Warriors down the floor. They go right towards the basket. Shot is put up. It is missed, but some contact there, so we're going to see more free throw shots. And that's one of the things that, without a doubt, Gordon Central's done a tremendous job of here in the opening part of this basketball game is getting in the lane and finding themselves at the free throw line. And at the free throw line this time is Cassie Chastain. First shot on the way, rattles in. She'll get ready for a second free throw. That cuts it to a 16-7 ball game in favor of the Model 80 Blue Devils. So the first point of the second quarter is for Gordon Central. Second free throw on the way, and that one is right through, right through the hoop. And so, therefore, it's 16-8, to eight, Gordon Central trailing. Model going to try to work around the pressure. They get it across to Briley Sims, who now goes right into the paint, kicks it out to Burke Halter, and shuffles her feet in front of the official. That will be a turnover for the Lady Blue Devils. We'll keep you posted down the line next week whether or not we're going to have coverage of the 7AA tournament over in Fannin County. Still working out some logistics regarding that. We're hoping to bring you at least some of the tournament. But you'll want to stay tuned to WLAQ social media, WLAQ-Rome on Facebook. And then I don't even remember what our Twitter handle is. Just search WLAQ and you'll be able to find us and follow us there. Sadie Rotten. Tries to fire it back in. It is going to be picked off by Gordon Central. It stays on their end of the floor. Two looks. No basket there for Gordon Central. Model finally gets the rebound and will work it back the other way. Morgan Wood across the timeline. Dribbles left. Picks up her dribble. Tries to fire it off to a teammate on the left wing side. Pass is picked off by Ellis. Ellis goes in. And that's going to be a charge. Great job there by Rachel Burkhalter taking the charge for the Blue Devils. And the ball is going to be turned over. Model's going to get it back. Ellis picks up her first foul for Gordon Central. And now Model, greeted by more pressure, and is going to try to work around it. Morgan Wood dribbles across the timeline, gives it off the left wing side. And Sim, she's doubled up, going to need some help. Dribbles around a couple of defenders, goes right to the basket. The shot is missed. Betts leaps up to try to grab the rebound. but. Grabbing it from her is going to be Posley, who goes right to the other end of the floor. And now the ball is going to be tied up. Possession arrow is pointing. Well, the officials believe it's pointing towards Gordon Central, but the scores table says it's going Model's way. So now the call is going to be reversed, and Model's going to have the basketball. So a little bit of confusion there, but it looks like they've got it all sorted out. So Model will, in fact, have the basketball. They feed it in to Morgan Wood. Sadie Rotten now passes on to Rachel Burkhalter. Pressure here from Gordon Central. Wood standing with it close to the timeline. She's doubled up. And then Sally Eccles is forced to call a timeout because they were in danger of not getting it across the timeline 
in time. So we're going to send it back to the studio for a quick break. We'll be back on WLAQ in 30 seconds. Sadie Rotten triggers it in for the Lady Blue Devils. They work from right to left on your radio dial with the basketball and a 16 to 8 lead. However, they have been scoreless, held scoreless the first three minutes plus here of our second quarter. And now Rachel Burkhalter with the basketball for Model back up top to Sim. So definitely some good defense getting played by the Warriors. There's a shot, it'll be missed. Rebounds taken by Gordon Central. So a one and done trip here for the Lady Blue Devils on their offensive end. Warriors with it, an open three. They don't take the shot there. They get it into Posley, and it's pretty clear here what the goal for Gordon Central is. They're trying to get it in the paint and get it to the basket, see if they can find themselves at the free throw line, which they have done, again, a very good job at. So going to the line is Posley. She's two of four from the charity stripe. First shot on the way. That's off the front of the rim. As she get ready for her second. That was the second foul picked up for Rachel Burkhalter so far in this bas basketball game. Next free throw on the way is going to be good. So she continues the trend of making one of the pair. She remains 50%, three of six from the line. There is a long three-pointer on the other end. That's going to be in and out for Burkhalter. Gets her own rebound. Put back won't go. And that's going to be a turnover for the Lady Blue Devils. They're going to get August Betts with a foul. And now we will see Gordon Central inbound the ball in just a moment. Rachel Rayleigh triggers it in here for the Lady Warriors, feeds it into Brooke Wilson. He will speed up as she crosses the center court line, passes it off to teammate Rachel Ellis, or I should say Renaya Ellis, rather. I got it all wrong. That was Cassie Chastain. And another turnover. Going to have some substitutions here in the game. So it's a good time for me to let you know who all's on the floor. For model, triggering it in is Sadie Rotten. She gets it into Morgan Wood. August Betts, Ansley Kugler, and Rachel Burkhalter on the floor right now. Burkhalter with the basketball. Feeds it back out to Morgan Wood. Now on to Kugler. Tries to shake off a defender. Gets it over to Burkhalter. Now on to Wood, who's on the left wing side with it. Good ball movement from model, but great defense right now here from this Lady Warriors basketball team. Now they're going to feed it off to the right wing side. Rotten for three. That's a bit too strong. I don't even think it caught iron there. And now the rebound is taken by the Lady Warriors. Rachel Rayley across the timeline with it. Gives it to Posley, who goes down towards the low block, kicks it out. There's a three-point look for Wilson. That'll be a miss. And in an effort to try to keep it in bounds, it's poked out of bounds here by the Lady Warriors. So Model's going to get the ball. They lead it 16 to 9. But again, we're almost to the three-minute mark here of our second quarter, and Model has not scored any points here in the second quarter of the basketball game. Here is Ansley Kugler for three, and she gets the lid off the basket. Ansley Kugler now has three threes in this game. Model has five made threes in the basketball game. They lead it by 10, 19 to 9, and we close in on the three-minute mark. Here's a shot on the other end. She misses, but again, we're going to see Kim Posley going to the free throw line yet again here for the Gordon Central Lady Warriors. So we're going to see her seventh and eighth free throws of the basketball game, and we're only in the first half. Still have 3.01 left to go in the half. Shot on the way, and she's dialed in for that one. And again, she's been shooting 50% from the free throw line. So we'll see what she does here on the second free throw of this pair. And she misses, so the trend continues. 19 to 10, model leads by nine. They've got the basketball on their offensive side of the floor already. Morgan Wood down to Rotten off the glass and in. So again, 
Sadie Rotten with her first basket of the game, 21 to 10. Model matches their highest lead of the evening with 11 point lead. Posley with it, drives to the low block, puts up the shot, it won't fall. Another look here for Gordon Central, and that one won't go either. Rebound's gonna go to Sadie Rotten and the Model Lady Blue Devils. Morgan Wood across the center court strike. Dribbles top of the key, works around a pick, goes in, shoots, misses. Misses left, rebound's gonna go to Gordon Central. Here they come back the other way. A lob down low is deflected by Ansley Kugler, goes out of bounds. Will be fielded over on the sidelines by head coach Sally Eccles, who's done a great job with this team. And again, you can just see how they improve from game to game all season long. There's a, another shot there by Gordon Central and a miss. Ball picked up by Julia Shinholster and model across the timeline with it now is Burke Coulter back to Shinholster. She'll drive right towards the paint, kicks it out. There's Abby Henderson, puts up the shot off the mark. Rebound's gonna be taken by Gordon Central and Sarah Grace Whittle. Ball now in the hands of Posley. She'll pick up her dribble, she's doubled up. Fires on to teammate Brooke Wilson with 144 left to go in the first half. Wilson at the top of the key being guarded by Shinholster. Abby Henderson doing a great job on defense. There's a shot off the back of the rim from three-point range. It won't go. Ball battled for and diving for it is going to be Shin Holster. A little bit of contact there, and it looks like there's going to be a foul that's going to be charged against Gordon Central. They get Kim Pasley with the foul. And be the fourth foul of the game for Gordon Central. We're in the second quarter, 129 left to go. Here in the first half, model up by 11, 21 to 10. They have led by 11 on a couple of occasions here in our first half. At the end of the first quarter, it was a 16 to 6 lead here for the Model Lady Blue Devils. Shin Holster with it, on to Rachel Burkhalter. Burkhalter dribbling about midcourt with it, fires it to the right wing side. Great ball movement right now from Model. Some sharp passing. Here's Shin Holster. Tries to bounce it over to Burke Halter, loses the handle and it goes out of bounds. So Gordon Central is going to get the ball back with 105 left to go in the first half. Thank you for tuning in tonight to Model Basketball Night presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales on WLAQ. There's kind of a wild shot by Sarah Grace Whittle, but gets that contact underneath and is going to go to the charity strike. So again, Gordon Central continues in this basketball game to attack in the paint and get to the free throw line. First shot away is a miss. Foul was charged to Addison Cantrell out of the floor now for the Model Lady Blue Devils. We get ready for the next free throw from Whittle on the way and she'll knock down the second free throw and now we've got a 10 point game, 21 to 11. Model on top with 50 seconds left to go in our first half. Ansley Kugler with the basketball, fires it into Shin Holster. She'll back her way out, gives it out to Kugler. A three-point look, and she drills it. Four threes tonight for Ansley Kugler. She's got 12 points. 24-11, Model on top by 13. Their biggest lead, 32 seconds left to go first half. A lob pass inside for the Warriors. They've got the ball and they try to get it to the rack again. Another foul on Model's gonna send Renaya Ellis to the free throw line here for the Lady Warriors. 26.6 seconds left on the clock here in the first half, Model up by 13. Here's the first free throw on the way. That one's gonna go off the back of the rim. Will not fall for Anaya Ellis. She'll get ready for her second free throw. This is her first trip to the stripe of many for Gordon Central throughout this first half. Next free throw on the way. That one goes off the front of the rim. Abby Henderson is there for the rebound for Model. Gives it to Addison Cantrell. Now to Kugler with 20 seconds left to go. Model looks to Battle for the final shot here of our first half. Julia Shinholster with it now with 13 seconds to work with. Dribbles at the top of the key, picks it up, ball stolen away. It's one on one and going in, missing the basket is gonna be number 10, Rachel Rayleigh for Gordon Central, but guess what? They're going back to the strike. Julia Shinholster did a good job of chasing her down and preventing her from the easy layup. 
which it looked like she was going to have there for a moment. Here's the first free throw. That one's going to be short. Barely catches the front of the rim there. We've got six seconds left to go in the first half. Model leads it 24 to 11, despite a sluggish start to the second quarter. Second free throw goes in for that young lady, Rayleigh. And there's a shot at the buzzer for three, and I thought Kugler was going to knock that one down, but it doesn't fall, and that's the end of our first half. So Models doubled up Gordon Central's half total, and it is 24 to 12 in favor of the Model Lady Blue Devils over the Gordon Central Lady Warriors. We're going to send it back to the studio for a timeout. We'll be back. We'll run down the scoring from the first half on WLAQ. We'll be back. This production is by Northwest Georgia Media. If you would like to support our channel, you can do so by simply subscribing and sharing. You can also support the channel with donations via the Venmo app on your smart device. Simply open the app and search for Northwest Georgia Media under the business tab. Our Venmo handle is at NW Underbar Georgia Underbar Media. If you're a business owner and are interested in sponsorship opportunities, or if you'd like to get involved with our video production team, please email us at info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for watching and for your support.
and Cincinnati Bengals. And one of the interesting facts about the Super Bowl this year is there have only been there will have only been two times that a team would host at their home stadium for the Super Bowl. That would be this year, SoFi Stadium for the LA Rams. And then last year when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosted at their stadium down in Tampa Bay. So it's kind of crazy that that's only happened twice and it happened in consecutive years last year and this year. Just thought I'd throw that interesting fact out there for you here on the broadcast tonight. But we are now 15 seconds away from the start of our second half. Model Lady Blue Devils hosting Gordon Central Lady Warriors and Model having their way after one half of play up 24 to 12. And what's been a busy and very, very productive week here for the Model Lady Blue Devils. We mentioned to you they started the week on Tuesday with a 50 to 26 win over Pepperell. And then on Thursday, they put up a heck of a fight last night here in this very gymnasium, Woodard Gymnasium, against the 11-0 in region play, Fannin County Lady Rebels. Final score in that game was 63-54. to And that final score, with the way things have gone, just the dominant performances you've been getting from Fannin County, I think turned some heads from teams around the region. But uh, the Lady Warriors are going to open up with possession of the basketball, trailing by 12 as we start our third quarter. And immediately they go right to the paint and get fouled and go to the free throw line. So they're picking up where they left off. I mentioned to you 18 free throw shots attempted by the Lady Warriors in the first half alone. And then nine seconds into the start of our third quarter, they're already back at the strike. Kim Posley misses the first one. She'll get ready for the second free throw of the pair. The foul was charged on Sadie Rotten, her second of the game, and the second free throw goes in. So the trend continues 50% from the free throw line for Kim Pasley and also Gordon Central Lady Warriors for this game so far. I'd love to know what their season stats are. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere around 50% based on what we've seen tonight. Rachel Burkhalter with it now, or excuse me, Briley Sims for the Lady Blue Devils. They have the basketball in the lead. Sims will dribble, now goes in towards the paint, kicks it back out to Rotten. Now they get it onto Wood, around to Burkhalter, an open three, and that was going to be a miss. Rebound's going to be taken by Pasley. Ball is going to roll out of bounds, and it was last touched by Model. Sally Eccles, head coach of the Lady Blue Devils, didn't see it the same way. She was pointing the other way. A little bit of protest there, not a whole lot. But the Lady Warriors will feed it in and bring it up the floor, working from right to left. They are in their gray jerseys and shorts, blue letters and numbers. Got some white trim in there, also some black trim as well, it looks like. So guess what? Kim Posley puts up another shot, misses, and is at the charity strike. You know this tune. Sing it along with me, folks. So Posley at the line, 7.05 left to go here in the third quarter, shot on the way, and that one is good. She makes the first one, gets ready for the next. Second free throw on the way, and she'll make that one. So she bucks the trend there and makes two in a row. That's the first time here tonight after her many, many trips to the free throw line. Here comes Rachel Burkhalter across the timeline, tries to bounce it into Betts. It's picked off by Pasley. Here come the Lady Warriors down the other end. Nice bounce pass inside. They kick out. There's a three. That's off the top of the rim. It won't go. And we have another jump ball. Model's going to bring it up the floor as the possession arrow was pointed in their direction this time. Rachel Burkhalter with over on the left wing side, picks up her dribble, fires it up top to Rotten, who feeds it into Betts, turn, shoots, and the rim is unkind. Bounces off the back of the iron. Morgan Wood, but Model retains possession with the rebound. Rotten is going to fire it across to Morgan Wood, who's on the left side. They try to get it out to Sims. And the ball is going to sail out of bounds. It's coming back to the Lady Warriors. 24 to 15 is your score. Model up by nine. We've got 619 left to go in the third quarter. And the ball is getting ready to be fed in by Rachel Raley. As Gordon Central now has it on their side of the floor. They kick it out. There's a three from the left wing side. Bounces high off the rim. 
And I believe it goes off the top of the backboard, so that's going to be out of bounds and coming back to the Model Lady Blue Devils. Pretty good crowd on hand tonight here for the final games of the regular season. Here on this side of the floor, the model stands are just about full, and on the other side, I'd say it's about 50%. So pretty good turnout here for a Friday night. Interesting weather week we've had this week. It was cold earlier in the week. We've had some chilly mornings. Oh, my goodness, great shot there by Briley Sims. Knocks down the two, 26 to 15 is your score. First basket of the second half for Model. Three-point shot on the other end is missed. August Betts gets the rebound here for Model. It was 69 degrees when I walked into the gym today, closing in on about 5 o'clock. There's a three-pointer on the other side. That'll be a miss for Model. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow is pointed in Model's direction, so we're going to see the – or actually, I should say, pointed in Gordon Central's direction. The Lady Warriors will inbound the ball and work it the other way. Here in just a moment, greeted by some full court pressure here from the Lady Blue Devils. Working it down the floor is Pasley. They're able to handle it and get it on the other end of the floor. Lady Warriors with the ball. Now they work it to the right wing side. Bounce pass in to Pasley, who tries to back her way in. Turn, shoots, and that's going to be high off the rim. Won't go. Morgan Woods got the ball here for Model. Lady Blue Devils go back the other end of the floor, leading it by 11. And a whistle on foul is going to be charged against Gordon Central. They get Cassie Chastain for her fourth foul of the game. So one more, and she'll have a seat permanently for the rest of the regular season. So triggering it in for model is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. Morgan Wood with it now at the top of the key. We're now at the five-minute mark of our third quarter with Model leading at 26 to 15. They work it around to Briley Sims on the left wing side. She'll back up, feed it back out to Burkhalter. Right now, it looks like Model's content to extend possessions and take some time off the clock. Now to Sims, back up top to Morgan Wood. Fakes, now to Sims, back around to Rotten. Ball is going to be poked away and stolen by Posley, who goes the other way for the Lady Warriors. And that's going to be a turnover. It's going to be an offensive foul against Kim Pasley. She picks up her third foul. And now Model's going to work it the other way. Rotten. And she definitely, she picked up her dribble, trying to pass it to a teammate, dragged her pivot foot, and that'll be a turnover for Model. So it's coming back to the Lady Warriors. Model 26, Gordon Central 15, 430 left third quarter. Inbound pass goes to Rachel Rayleigh. Picks up her dribble, bounces it into Pasley. She fires it back out to Rayleigh, who in turn is going to feed it to the right wing side. Now they go left with it. There's a three-point look. That is going to roll over the front of the rim and off. Rebound taken by Model. Rachel Burkhalter gives it down to Morgan Wood. Back to Burkhalter for three from out top, and it is good. Rachel Burkhalter with her third made three of the basketball game. She's got nine points. Model out to a 14-point lead, 29 to 15. This is Model's biggest lead of the game. They've led by 13 a couple of occasions tonight. There's a whistle and a foul on Gordon Central on the other end. Model's getting the ball back with some momentum. Going to have a substitution in the game for the Lady Warriors. Checking in is going to be Edna Camposano. And we're going to have a timeout called. So we'll do the same thing here on WLAQ. 3.49 left to go in the third quarter. Model 29, Gordon Central 15. We'll be back in 30. Model with the basketball and a 14-point lead as we resume play. 3.40 and some change left on the clock here in the third quarter. Ball stolen away by Gordon Central. 
And then poked out of bounds by the Model 80 Blue Devils. So Gordon Central didn't get a look at it there, but they're going to have the ball inbounding underneath their own basket on the baseline. To trigger it in is going to be Ellis here, the freshman for Gordon Central. And they were switching out there. And that is a turnover. So the Model 80 Blue Devils are going to bring it up the floor. Morgan Wood with it. A little bit of contact, no call. Going to get it over to Burkhalter, who's on the left wing side. Rachel Burkhalter with the basketball model with a 14-point lead. Riley Sims back over to Burkhalter for three, and that was going to carry him off the rim. Rebound's going to be taken by Renaya Ellis here of the Lady Warriors. They'll lob it across the timeline. Ellis fires at the left wing side. There's Wilson for three. That was going to be off the front of the rim, over the backboard, and somehow manages to stay in bounds, staying with the Lady Warriors. Under three minutes to play in the third quarter. Offensive foul is going to be charged against Rachel Rayleigh. That'll be a turnover in favor of the Model Lady Blue Devils. So the Lady Blue Devils will get it back, leading it 29 to 15 with just under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Really hard to believe that this is the final night of the regular season for the Model Lady Blue Devils. Getting ready for region tournament play to begin at Fannin County in Blue Ridge, Georgia coming up next week. And that is one of the interesting, uh, that's going to be a turnover for Model. They travel. One of the interesting things about having Fannin County in the region is when they host the region tournament, you've got all the Floyd County schools uh, and then Chattooga and Dade County, they got to go a long way to play those region tournament games up there in Fannin County. And again, that's just one of the strange byproducts that comes out of having one team out of the region that's kind of out there in no man's land in terms of the other teams in the region. But it is what it is under the current circumstances. Ball is going to be fed in for Gordon Central. Resetting the offense is going to be Rachel Rayleigh. Nearly goes off her leg, but it stays with Gordon Central. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul that's going to go, it looks like, against the Warriors. So it's coming back to the Lady Blue Devils. Rachel Burkhalter defeated in, gets it into Shinholster. On the floor right now for model Ansley Kugler with the ball. Gives it over to Julia Shinholster to Rachel Burkhalter. Riley Sims and Abby Henderson on the floor now here for the Lady Blue Devils. A tie up there. Possession arrow is pointing Lady Warriors' way, so they're going to get the ball back, and a timeout's going to be called, so we'll do the same. Model 29, Gordon Central 15, 220 mark of the third quarter. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Timeout, 220 left, third quarter. Model 29, Gordon Central 15 here in our first game of the evening. A little bit earlier of a start for a Friday evening. Sometimes the games on Fridays don't start till 7 and 8.30. And then after tonight's game, they're going to show a documentary <clears throat> coming up after the game. So a special night here inside Woodard Gymnasium. I know everybody's looking forward to that coming up later on. So right now, the Lady Warriors have got the ball trailing by 14, and another offensive foul is going to be charged against the Lady Warriors. We've seen several for them tonight. That one is going to go against Posley. And now the, or actually I should say that was Renaya Ellis picked up her second foul of the basketball game. And right now, the Blue Devils trying to work around a little pressure. Burke Halter tries to lob up the pass. It's picked off. Ellis has got it. Puts it up off the glass. Won't go. Gets her own rebound. Staying with the Lady Warriors. Into the paint as Ellis goes in, shoots. Doesn't make the shot, but she's going to the charity strike. 
So far in this third quarter, there have been three points scored by Gordon Central. And all three of them off of free throw shots from Kim Pasley at the free throw line now is Renaya Ellis for the second time tonight where she has missed. Ooh, that one rattles in. I didn't think that was going to go, but it did. So she's now made one of three here tonight, gets ready for another. Modelus outscored Gordon Central 5-4 to four here in this quarter. That's going to go off the back of the rim. And so the score remains 29-16 to 16 in favor of Model. They're still up by 13 points. Have 150 left to go here in the third quarter of play. Gordon Central set to inbound the ball from the baseline underneath their own basket. And they will lob it in, get it out to Ellis. Ellis dribbles around the left wing side, now fires it up top to Rayleigh. Rayleigh is going to be charged with an offensive foul. And that's we've seen a lot of that here in this game called against Gordon Central. Rachel Burkhalter feeds it in here for the Lady Blue Devils. Ansley Kugler back over to Shin Holster. They'll try to work around the pressure, and that's a traveling call. And you got to give credit where credit's due to this Gordon Central Lady Warriors. They've been pressing much of the game, and there have been times where you've seen it affect the Lady Blue Devils, and that time the pressure forced a turnover. So now the Lady Warriors will inbound the basketball. They feed it in. Dribbling with it's going to be Brooke Wilson at the top of the key. She'll turn, goes towards the paint over on the far side, and a whistle and foul is going to be charged against the Lady Blue Devils. So we're going to see the Lady Warriors inbound the ball from underneath their own basket here in just a moment. The trigger at end is going to be Rachel Rayleigh. Trying to find some help from the teammate. Bounces it into Ellis. Ball is going to be knocked loose by Ansley Kugler. She comes up with it. She's doubled up. Feeds it on to Abby Henderson. And now Rachel Burkhalter has it and handles it. Works it across the center court stripe. Burkhalter back up around the logo at center court. Fires it left over to Kugler, who knocks down another three-point shot. Her fifth made free three of the basketball game. She's got 15 points, leads all scorers in the basketball game. 32-16. Model has doubled up Gordon Central again. They lead it by 16 points. There's a long three on the other side, and it is made by Gordon Central. And number 10, Rachel Rayleigh, she's got seven points in the game, 32 to 19. 44 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. Model Lady Blue Devils with the lead. Julia Schenholster feeds it into the corner to Raglan. Now another tie-up. I don't know how many jump balls we've seen in this game, but it is a bunch. At this time, the possession arrow points model's direction. So right now on the floor for the Lady Blue Devils set to trigger it in is Tamaya Raglan. You got Shin Holster, also Ansley Kugler, Abby Henderson. Little pitching underneath the paint, and they're going to charge a foul to Abby Henderson. She's got a few words for the official right there, but not enough for her to tee her up. But she definitely was protesting that call just a little bit. And now we'll see the inbound pass here from the Lady Warriors. Firing it in is Sarah Grace Whittle. Pass is going to go on to Ellis. Ellis across the center court strike. Dribbles off right wing side. And the ball is going to be picked off. Shin Holster, two on one in favor of the Warriors. Shin Holster puts up the shot. It's a miss. Here's a putback after a rebound. That one won't go. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. I believe that's going to go against... Now they're saying the model Lady Blue Devils. They're going to get Abby Henderson with another foul. Two quick fouls for her. And going to the stripe is going to be Ellis. First free throw on the way. Rattles off the rim, so she will not get the back end of the one and one. Rebound goes to model. Nine seconds left to go in the third quarter. Three-point shot on the other end is missed. Ball is loose on the floor, and guess what? Jump ball. Ball is pointing in the direction of the Lady Warriors. So we'll see the Lady Warriors inbound the ball with three seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Model up 32 to 19. Lady Warriors will feed it in. And there is some pressure. Three seconds left to go. Now they get the ball, and they won't even put up a shot here. 
the buzzer sounds. So at the end of your third quarter, model 32, Gordon Central 19, pretty good lead going into the final frame of the regular season for the model Lady Blue Devils. We'll send it back to the studio for a one minute break. We'll be back on WLAQ. Folks, great three-point shooting tonight for the Model Lady Blue Devils. Ansley Kugler has 15 points, leads all scorers, made them off of five made threes. Then you've had three threes for Rachel Burkhalter. All three of her threes were in the first half of the basket. Nope, she had one in the third quarter, two in the first half and one in the third quarter. She has nine points. But right now, Model with the basketball in a 32 to 19 lead as we are just underway with the final quarter here of the regular season for the Lady Blue Devils. Morgan Wood with the basketball. Now on to Rachel Burkhalter. Back over to Wood. Wood standing about center court, being deliberate here on this particular possession. Feed down low to Rotten, puts up the shot, a little floater, won't go. Rebound goes to Model. So it's staying with the Lady Blue Devils. They'll kick it back up to the top of the key and set up their half-court offense. Rachel Burkhalter with it, dribbling at the top of the key, goes into the paint, puts up a shot off the glass, rolls around the, the rim and in. It was a little dramatic, but it finally made it through the basket. And now Burkhalter with 11 points. 34 to 19, model on top, 650 mark here of the final quarter. A couple of shots underneath here for the Lady Warriors, and guess what? We're going to watch Kim Posley shoot free throws again when she scored seven points here tonight. All of her points from the free throw line is yet to have a field goal. First shot on the way, that's way short. Doesn't catch the rim. So far in the game, Gordon Central is 13 of 26 from the free throw line. This will be their 27th free throw attempt of the game. Shot up and in. 34 to 20 is your score model on top by 14 points and a timeout is called. So we'll do the same thing. 6.48 left to go in the game. Model 34, Gordon Central 20. We'll be back in 30 seconds. there in radio land you are listening to model basketball which is presented tonight by mathis trailers and equipment sales as always also along with us as sponsors tonight profile at custom extrusions and wear mechanical and i'm pretty excited speaking of wear mechanical that we'll all be getting our air conditioner serviced here pretty soon because spring is really right around the corner and if you walked outside <laughs> Today, you know, it felt like spring today. I know we got a ways left to go, but we're getting there. Rachel Burkhalter backs up around the three-point arc. He's got the basketball, feeds it into Morgan Wood. She's trapped. They kick it out. There's Sims on to Rotten. 
and they'll go inside. Floater from Rotten is going to be missed. Ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touched by Gordon Central Lady Warriors. So Model's going to feed it in from the baseline on their side of the floor in just a minute. They bounce it in to August Betts. Now out to Wood. Wide open three. Puts up the shot, and that is going to go off the back of the rim. Won't go. Rebound's taken by Gordon Central. So the Lady Warriors will trot it up the floor in the hands of Pasley. Pasley leaves it off for teammate Rayleigh. Now back into Pasley. Tries to back her way in. Kicks it out. There's a three-point look. And it is made by Cassie Chastain, who now has five points in the game here for Gordon Central. That cuts it to a 12-point game. Model 34, Gordon Central 22. Model with the ball. They feed it down low or attempt to to Rachel Burkhalter. Can't handle the pass around the baseline. It goes out of bounds and it's coming back to the Warriors. Rachel Rayleigh fires it in to Kim Pasley. She'll trot it up the floor here for the Lady Warriors, dribbling off the left side. Leaves it off for Rayleigh. Rayleigh picks it up, leaves it for teammate Chastain. Now on to Wilson. There is a long range three. That one caroms off the rim, but a shot attempt there from Pasley and more free throw attempts coming up for her. She has spent the entire evening at the free throw line here for the Gordon Central Lady Warriors. Done a great job getting the line and she makes this first of the pair. Now we are back to an 11 point game, model 34, Gordon Central 23, another free throw on the way for Pasley. That one goes off the front of the iron. And we have a jump ball in the air. Possession arrow points in the direction of Gordon Central Lady Warriors. So the Warriors will have the ball. Trailing by 11 points. And they will bounce it in to Pasley. She is triple teamed here by Model. And guess what? Another jump ball. Possession arrow pointing down in the other direction. Model Lady Blue Devils have got the ball coming to them. They get it into Morgan Wood. Wood dribbles around a defender, gives it to Rotten. Now fires it to the right wing side and Burke Halter. She'll fire it back over to Rotten up top to Wood. Wood will dribble around the left side. Now on to the left wing, they go down low to Betts off the glass and in. August Betts for the first basket of the evening. We'll see if they go back to that well here on their next possession. 5.07 remaining here in the game and model back to a 13 point lead. Okay, August Betts is going to pick up a foul there for the Lady Blue Devils. Scoreboard has her with four. And now she'll go have a seat. Inbound pass is going to be handled by Rachel Rayleigh. Gets it into Pasley. And she battles through a couple defenders. A jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow is with the Lady Warriors. So the ball is going to stay with them with 4.55 left to go here in the basketball game. Rachel Rayleigh set to feed it in from the baseline for the Lady Warriors, gets it into Pasley. Turns, has her pocket pick by Burke Halter, now down to Wood, goes in, shoots off the glass, it's in. Thought it might be a little too strong initially, but it made its way through the hoop, and Model leads it 38 to 23. So back to a 15 point lead for the Blue Devils. Shot high off the glass, no good, but Pasley is gonna go to the free throw line. Shooting more free throws. Not really a close game throughout this game for the most part, but because Gordon Central keeps getting to the charity stripe, we're going to have an extended game, it looks like. That shot missed two in a row there for Pasley. Here comes the Lady Blue Devils on the other end. Kugler leaves it for Rotten on the left wing side. Back up to Wood. Here's Rotten for a three-point shot. Got her feet set, but it goes off the back of the rim. Long rebound for Burkhalter and the Lady Blue Devils. Wood with it. Almost to the four-minute mark. Almost halfway through with our fourth quarter. Rachel Burkhalter dribbling on the right side. Boys game to follow after this one. Looking forward to that one. Here's Kugler in the paint. Caroms off the rim. Rebound's going to be taken by Gordon Central. They're across the timeline. Pasley with it. Puts up a quick shot. Goes high off the rim. Rebound taken. Another shot for Gordon Central is missed. 
Rebound taken by Model this time. Here they come the other way. Wood with it. Almost traveled. Here's a shot from Briley Sims. A miss. Rebound taken by Gordon Central. They will fling it cross court. They get it down to Pasley who goes in, shoots too strong. She is still yet to make a field goal in this game despite a lot of shots. Does not get to the free throw line that time. There's Kugler on the left wing side. She'll drive towards the basket. Now he's going to leave it off for Burke Halter, who cut towards the basket. Here's Morgan Wood, rattles around the rim and in for Wood. 40 to 23, 17 point model, Lady Blue Devils lead. 308 remains in the game. With the ball is Brooke Wilson. Wilson fires it to the right wing side. Ball is stolen away. Good hands there by Ansley Kugler, who's going to bring it up the floor here for the Lady Blue Devils. Gets it down to Burkhalter. Good look at a three-point shot in and out. Just missed. Rebound by Wilson. Here comes the Lady Warriors with a pass down the floor, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Warriors. A collision between Rachel Burkhalter and also Sarah Grace Whittle. Nobody hurt there. And again, the Lady Blue Devils are going to toss it in here leading it 40 to 23, a 17 point lead here for the Lady Blue Devils with 2.45 left to go in the game. And again, we've talked about this throughout the broadcast. Model on Tuesday started their week with a win, 50 to 26 over Pepperell. They would lose to Fannin County, but a respectable score there, 63 to 54. And it looks like they're gonna cap off the regular season with a victory here. The, you know, unless something really crazy happens in the final two and a half minutes of the game. But I think this one is out of reach for the Warren Central Warriors, the way things have gone in this game. Tamaya Ragland is going to get a rare free throw opportunity here for the Model Lady Blue Devils in this basketball game. This is only the second trip to the charity stripe for the Lady Blue Devils. That's going to be one of the interesting things to look at at the end of this game is the disparity in free throw attempts between these two teams. Now, they played a different style in this game. That shot is up, and it is good for Raglan. 42 to 23 is your score in favor of the Lady Blue Devils. And they will, Warriors will bring it up the floor. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by the Blue Devils. So we're going to see the Warriors inbound the ball. Kinsley Caudle will inbound the ball off the bench. A freshman playing. Here tonight for the Warriors getting some minutes here in the game. And there's a long three-point shot, won't go. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Warriors, so it's coming back to the Blue Devils. On the floor right now for Model, you've got Cantrell, who's going to inbound the ball to Shinholster. You've got Kugler, Burke, or Jenna Henderson, and Tamaya Raglan. Tell you the players for the Warriors in a minute if we get an opportunity. Here's Raglan with the ball, feeds it out to Kugler. We are officially at the two-minute mark, and the shot is up from Shinholster from three-point range. It won't go. Rebound taken by Kugler. Shinholster fires it to the right wing. There's Cantrell for three. That was going to go high off the rim. Rebound battled for and won by the Blue Devils. Shinholster, three-point land, kicks it out. Now they'll work the perimeter. There's Kugler for three. That one's not going to go. Rebound's going to be taken by the Lady Blue Devils. Gets a big round of applause from the bench and knocking down the shot is going to be Addison Cantrell. That was a two-point shot for her. 44-23, to 23, your score model on top by 19 with 122 remaining in the game. Ball near, nearly stolen away by the Lady Blue Devils. It's going to be a foul against Ansley Kugler. 118 left to go. 44-23 to 23 is her score. Model is on top by 21 points. Ball inbound here by the Lady Warriors. There is a pass inside, shot off the glass and in. That's going to be Edna Campazano with her first basket of the game. 44 to 25, your score. Raglan on the left wing with it. Now back out to Kugler. We're under a minute to play. Model with the basketball, Raglan picks it up, bounces it into Kugler, turn, shoots, misses, rebound's gonna go to the Lady Warriors, and they will dribble around the baseline, and a foul's gonna be charged against Julia Shinholster of the Lady Blue Devils. So we'll go back to the other end of the floor as Gordon Central is in the bonus. So we're gonna have free throw shots 
one and one here for Briley Stewart. This will be her first opportunity for a point in the basketball game. The freshman getting some playing time late in the game. Shot on the way. That's going to go off the back of the rim. Won't get the back end. Rebound taken by Model. Raglan's got it. She's at the top of the key. Stops, fires it out to the left wing side, and Schindholster shoots, misses. Rebound is going to be taken by Gordon Central. They'll bring the ball up the floor with 35 ticks left on the clock. 44-25, 19-point lead here for the Lady Blue Devils. And Schindholster kind of hacks at one of the players for uh, Gordon Central. Riley Stewart, so we're going to see her at the free throw line. Shooting one and one again after the fourth foul is picked up by Julia Schenholster. This has been a fairly long game despite it being pretty lopsided throughout most of the contest. Checking out of the game, Schenholster checking in is going to be Milan Howard here for the Lady Blue Devils. Free throw shot on the way, and that is good. Dialed in this time is Stewart, so she'll get the back end of the one and one. She gets her first point of the game here for Gordon Central. Model 44, Gordon Central 26. Model looking to pick up the season sweep between these two teams. Shot is no good. She stepped over the line, kind of hesitated there on the free throw shot, looking off to the official for an explanation of what she did, but there was no doubt about that. Tamaya Raglan set to inbound the ball here for the Lady Blue Devils. She will feed it in to Jenna Henderson. Now back to Raglan across the timeline. Leaves it off for Kugler. 20 seconds left on the clock in the game. Ball is going to be kicked and away here for Gordon Central. It goes out of bounds, so it's going to stay with the model Lady Blue Devils, and they'll bring it up the floor with 15.7 seconds left on the clock. Hope you're having a wonderful evening out there in Radio Land. Let's to high school basketball presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales on WLAQ. Model with the basketball. Cantrell with it. Eight seconds, and it looks like Model will run out the rest of the time and enjoy a victory here tonight on the final night of the regular season playing here at home. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The final buzzer has sounded. Model victorious, 44-26. to 26 over the Warriors of Gordon Central. So that's the end of the game, folks. We're glad you're with us tonight on WLAQ. We're going to send it back to the studio. We'll do some totaling on our end. And we'll come back and wrap things up from our girls' game and start to set the stage for the boys' game, which is coming up in just, <clears throat> just a little bit. We'll be back.